So not only are they discovering, wow, I can do whatever I want, they are also literally rewiring their brain. So let's talk about vacations now, not just for me, of course, our team here at AFL, who have gone without drinking for years, but our members. For me personally, I get to do whatever I want on a vacation now. I get to explore Maui. I'm free to do whatever hike I'd like, or I can sit by the pool and just chill out because that is a necessary part of life as well. I've enjoyed two novels. I've been swimming with my daughter. I taught her how to do a backflip. We've been eating delicious regional food. She's tried a few different types of fish. Tried to get her to try a clam. Wouldn't go there with me. (laughs) And we're having a wonderful time. In fact, I'm four hours behind my normal time. And I haven't made an attempt to adjust because I really love waking up super early and walking on the beach. I don't want to wake up at 7 a.m. I like waking up at 4 and enjoying my coffee and the view and nature, meditation, whatever else I want to do, which might, again, be nothing. Our members get to experience the same thing. They join anyway, because guess what? There's always going to be a thing coming up in your schedule. There's always going to be an event, a dinner, a conference, a vacation, a wedding, a reunion. And so they made the choice to say, okay, you know what? What the hell? I'm going in. And they join, even with events on their calendar. And they, they ask for support. We prepare them. We help them. And the whole community, the whole P90 membership community is with them. And so they're following from their vacation. We, we empower them to get curious. You know, what, what, how much time did you spend drinking on your vacation? Oh, this many hours. Okay. What might you enjoy doing? Where are you going? Oh, I'm going to this such and such place. Why don't you go on the website? See what other activities they offer. What's in the area? And so they have a plan going to the trip. They're like, oh, man. I'm going to go on that on that scuba scuba thing. I'm going to go snorkeling. By the way, I'm going to snorkeling tomorrow. And there's a boat ride out to where we snorkel. Can you imagine doing that with a hangover? I would have never put that in the past. And I might take a little bit of ginger because I do take ocean sickness. <laughs> but they have a plan. And then they go and they do it. So not only are they discovering, wow, I can do whatever I want on a vacation. They are also literally rewiring their brain. Because if you've listened to enough of these podcasts, you've heard about the neurotransmitters and how they're messed up. Some drinking, right? We're not, we don't know how to really experience natural highs, natural pleasure when we first stop drinking because Our brain has been accustomed to us just dumping dopamine and serotonin through alcohol. So our brain has stopped producing sufficient amounts, so things feel flat. We do believe that the only way we can feel great is through drinking or even feel normal or get great. So doing these activities is like medicine for their brains because They're doing the activities and they're noticing, oh, wow, this feels really good. Look at the colors. Oh, listen to that music. And then they get to wake up the next morning without a hangover. And they're going to do that yoga on the beach or whatever floats their boat. And they're training their brain. Ah, we can do this. This feels good. Which then supports the body and the brain as it heals and restores itself to homeostasis. So it's a double shot, right? You're having fun and you're training your brain. You are literally creating new synapses and new neurons, new connections in your brain, which over time will become the default. And so can it come with some challenges the first time? It might or it might not. However, over time, you'll get to where our long-term members are, 
our beyond 90, our leadership members, where I am today, where alcohol doesn't even enter the conversation. It's not even a question of, whoa, what am I going to do about drinking? I, I don't drink. And so the default in my brain now is, what, else, what am I going to do on my vacation? It's not, am I going to drink? How am I not going to drink? It's like, oh, heck yeah, vacation. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to do whatever I want to do. Alcohol hasn't had a vote in a long time. How's that sound? And then, how's it sound to come home from a vacation, truly vacationed, restored, having had a respite? Not a bad deal. If this sounds like you, if this resonates with you, go ahead and book that discovery call. It's free. You'll talk with one of our fantastic coaches. And let's see what your next vacay can look like or just next week. Until next time, take good care and have an awesome day.